Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. In order to have visitors to your website, you must publish your site on a web server. When you publish your site to a server, you're basically putting a copy of your files online for others to view. A web server is a computer that stores and maintains websites and website access. Most people gain access to a web server via an ISP or Internet Service Provider. Many ISPs provide web space as part of the regular monthly fee for Internet access. If your ISP does not, you may need to pay for these services from a separate web hosting server. For front page to function properly, front page extensions must be supported by your ISP or web hosting server. The front page extensions are those programs and scripts that make various page aspects and components function. Many features of the program will not function properly if the server that your site is published to does not support front page extensions. Though it's common for ISPs and web hosting providers to offer the extensions, there are some that do not. If yours does not support them, you should consider finding a new ISP or web hosting provider. Once you're ready to publish to the Internet, you'll need to have the site that you want to publish open in a front page, and you'll need to make sure you're connected to the Internet. Then, you can click File in the menu bar and click Publish Web. Then you'll need to enter the web address for where the site is published to. This will normally start with something like http colon slash slash or ftp colon slash slash. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and is just another way of uploading and downloading files to and from the internet. If you're limited in the amount of upload and download bandwidth you can use per month, you can click the Options button in the lower left corner of the Publish Web dialog box to display more options. Here, you can select to publish the changed pages only so that only pages that you've made changes to and saved will be uploaded now. Otherwise, you can select Publish All Pages to make sure everything on your website is the most current and up-to-date version. Then, in the lower section, you can select to include any subwebs and turn on Secure Connection Required if your web hosting provider requires that you sign on with a secure connection. When you're finished, click Publish. If a username and password are necessary, a dialog box may appear asking you to enter those. If it does, enter them and click OK. Once you do that, you'll see a dialog box that shows you all of the files and directories being transferred to your web space. If you're trying to publish to a directory or folder that does not yet exist, FrontPage can create it for you. If this is the case, it'll ask if you want it to create it for you, and you'll need to click Yes on that dialog box to continue. When FrontPage is finished publishing your site, a dialog box will appear that says the website published successfully. All you need to do is click Done. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.